The electrophile is the species that receives electrons in a substitution or elimination reaction. And the primary determinant from the electrophile's perspective of whether substitution or elimination occurs is based on steric hindrance at the electrophilic carbon. In general, when the carbon has a large number of alkyl substituents, substitution tends to be disfavored since it's difficult for the nucleophile to find its way into the electrophilic carbon. And when we say disfavored, we mean so in a kinetic sense. The transition state for that substitution would involve a lot of steric clashing between the nucleophile and these substituents as the nucleophile approach the electrophilic carbon. Approaching a proton at the beta position tends to be a lot more favorable kinetically in that case, since the region of space around the beta hydrogens tends to be a lot more open. There aren't as many steric clashes to worry about here. And so the point in general is that less sterically hindered electrophiles, primary especially and sometimes secondary, tend to engage in substitution. More hindered electrophiles, such as tertiary substrates, tend to favor elimination, especially in the presence of strong bases, because the electrophilic carbon is shielded from approach by the nucleophile. Now this does depend on the nature of the nucleophile to a degree. Recall that when we have a tertiary substrate in the presence of a weak base, a very weak base, like a neutral nucleophile, such as an alcohol, we're in SN1 territory, and the strength of the carbon nucleophile bond in that case can favor substitution. We'll look more at that situation in the summary video at the end of this lesson. For the time being, though, let's constrain ourselves to something that could act as a strong base or a strong nucleophile, something like OR-. What dictates whether substitution or elimination will dominate is steric hindrance in the electrophile in this case. And the question is, how hindered is this electrophilic carbon as compared to one of the beta hydrogens? Well, one thing to say right off the bat is that if the substrate lacks beta hydrogens, then elimination cannot occur. Methyl substrate is a classic example of that, methyl halide or pseudo halide. There are no beta hydrogens. The beta atoms are themselves hydrogen, and so without a carbon at the beta position, there's no possibility of elimination. Primary electrophiles almost always engage in substitution unless we tweak the reaction conditions to favor elimination which is generally going to require heat, which we represent using the delta symbol. When heat is applied, we can get a primary substrate to eliminate, but its intrinsic preference is for substitution. The waters get murky in the secondary case, because now steric hindrance is building at the electrophilic carbon, which starts to encourage elimination to some degree. However, in general, substitution is still favored, so I'm going to draw a red dotted box to emphasize that, that substitution still tends to be favored for secondary substrates over elimination. However, a mixture really should be expected here of substitution and elimination products with the substitution product dominating. And here again, we can use heat very strategically to favor elimination over substitution. When a strong base is used, along with a tertiary alkyl halide or pseudo halide, elimination occurs exclusively. The environment of the electrophilic carbon is just way too sterically hindered. We can even take this one step further and conclude that because we're using a strong base in the presence of something that engages in elimination, the mechanism here will be E2, concerted or single step elimination. Using heat plus a weak base, something like HOR, also tends to encourage elimination in the tertiary case. But the mechanism here is now E1, since the base isn't strong enough to deprotonate at the beta position on its own. Here we're using a relatively weak base, a neutral alcohol. It's the heat, the use of heat, that drives elimination over substitution in a case like this. 